The Darby Creek is a stream on the mend. It starts in suburban Delaware County and flows through Philadelphia before emptying into the Delaware River. Overdevelopment and historic pollution have taken a toll though. But there are a lot of issues with urban stormwater runoff, combined sewer overflows, um, sewage going into the stream. We've got problems with metals, we've got problems with old sewer infrastructure and leaks, and we can see that and it's evident in the water quality of the Darby Creek. That has an effect on the small aquatic insects that help purify the water and provide a food source for fish. So when you look at Darby Creek and we look at the insects and the animals that live in the stream, the stoneflies, the mayflies, the caddisflies, they aren't what they would have been before a lot of the development and stormwater problems existed. The creek is still vulnerable to pollution. In 2018, 400 barrels of fuel were released into the creek from a pipeline rupture and spill near the confluence with the Delaware River. Further south, the tidal section of the Darby and Cobbs Creeks often flood the Eastwick neighborhood. The stream is a popular fishing spot in an urban setting. A 2014 study on largemouth bass in the tidal section of the creek shows possible evidence of the long-term impacts of the degradation. The study found a poor catch rate for the bass when compared to southeastern Pennsylvania lakes. So the Darby Creek is a major tributary to the Delaware River. And if we are putting in and restoring wetlands, if we are putting in beautiful forested buffers that are going to filter out a lot of the stormwater runoff and issues that we see in this urbanized area, we're going to see elevations in dissolved oxygen in the stream, which is going to help all of the aquatic life, from the insects that are in the riffles and the habitats to the fish that live in the main stem Delaware River, and even the Atlantic sturgeon, an endangered species that lives in the main stem Delaware River. There have been a number of steps taken to improve habitat and water quality in the stream. In 2012, there were a series of three dams, one being here at Hoffman Park, which is part of Lansdowne, that were removed to open up migratory fish passage for over nine miles of the Darby Creek. That's a really great benefit for a lot of the different migratory fishes that want to come up from the Delaware into the Darby Creek to spawn, and it really helps with fishermen habitat as well. The other thing that's really great about this dam removal is that you'll see the natural riffles and runs of the stream start to come back instead of it being just a stagnant open dam and impoundment or lake if you will. In those riffles you have stoneflies and mayflies and caddisflies and all the things that the fish like to eat. After Hurricane Floyd flooded sections of Darby Borough in 1999, the Federal Emergency Management Agency helped buy out flood prone properties creating a buffer around the creek at John Bartram Park. The other part of the restoration that was part of that project, besides getting those folks out of harm's way, was putting in native trees and shrubs. Those native trees and shrubs are much better than grass or those typical types of um, parks where you think of a manicured lawn or landscape. A Pennsylvania Horticultural Society initiative is working to plant trees throughout Philadelphia and the nearby suburbs. Uh, a large part of that initiative is to um, help with uh, stormwater runoff because trees are one of the uh, primary things that can soak up water and mitigate the effects of flooding. There are also efforts to protect headwater areas. Residents are fighting to save a 178-acre tract of woodlands in Marple Township. Marple is subject to upstream development because they were flooded badly, as was Haverford. And so their, their decisions are impacting downstream communities like Darby, Eastwick, Upper Darby, and adding, you know, several dozen acres of impervious surface and compacted lawns and dysfunctional stormwater management systems is not going to be good for Darby or Upper Darby or Eastwick.